I'm sitting down here in my basement where I like to do some of these recordings and all I can hear is my children running and jumping upstairs and driving me insane because I told them to be quiet and they're running around with the dogs upstairs. So I don't know if you can hear them, but that's what's happening up there. But anyway, today I wanted to talk about um, something that happened this weekend that made me think about uh, my oldest son, Cohen. So when I was pregnant, my husband and I didn't find out what the sex of the baby was going to be. And so we actually had a name picked out for a boy, but we were trying to come up with a lot of girl names because we didn't have one for a girl. But we always knew what our first boy's name was going to be. Um, we loved this show called The O.C. And we already had a dog named Cooper after Marissa Cooper, a cat named Summer after Summer Roberts. And so we thought we would stick with the theme and name our son Cohen after Seth Cohen. And at the time, I thought that I was being really unique because there was nobody else named Cohen out there. And now I've heard plenty of Cohens. Um, but the name still suits him perfectly. And um, I just wanted to talk about my Cohen today. Um, he is a smart, loving, caring child. He drives his brother insane. Um, he is a typical 11 year old who um, we're trying to give more responsibility, but he just can't get it together yet. Um, but this weekend, I was watching him play soccer, and he plays on a U14 team, so he plays up in a league that's um, higher than what he would be, and so a lot of the kids are a lot bigger than him. But he was in there on a plane, he was being real aggressive and pushing the other kid, and I looked at him and I thought, yes, he is being aggressive, he's getting in there, he's not scared anymore. And then all of a sudden, it hit me that he's not a baby anymore, that he's growing up. And I got kind of choked up and that was surprising to me. Um, but I started to think that um, maybe I need to let, pay a little bit more attention to my older son so that I can know him and know how he's growing up. And it just really convicted me. Um, and so I wanted to kind of do a little vlog about him um, because he's gonna be a teenager soon. He's not a baby anymore. And I kind of felt bad because I've been on his case a lot lately. I expect a lot from him and so does his dad. And he takes it with a grain of salt. And we're teaching him and he's trying to learn too. But um, that morning he had hit his brother in the head with a shoe. And it just went downhill from there. Everything he was doing was annoying me. But in that moment when I saw him playing soccer, I thought I needed to make an effort to connect with him as he grows and to have more patience with him. And I think that sometimes God gives us these little nudges to pay attention to things. So this week, I'm going to give you a glimpse of my Cohen. <laughs> Like rubbery bacon or crispy bacon? Rubbery. You're a monster. Why? Crispy bacon is the way to go. No. <laughs> rubbery bacon has more flavor than crispy. Mm, but it's crispy. So? Love you. generation you are no so you are gen z, gen z. <laughs> so i wanted to find out what the gen z kids are saying these days because i think that it's important for us old people to be able to know what the kids are talking about these days so we've discussed a few words that you say and some things that the kids say so let's talk about it so okay. when i 
was growing up and even now, like if I like something, I'll be like, oh, that's so cool. That's cool. I like it. But you guys don't use cool like that. How do you use cool? Like sarcastically kind of. Yeah, so like, 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 like that's, that's so cool. Yay. Like if I came and down then, and I was like, oh, I just bought like this really awesome purse that I love, you'd be like, cool. Like nobody cares. <laughs> What is another word that is popular with you guys right now? Cringy. So tell me what cringy like, means. It means like, uh, I don't know the exact meaning, but I'm going to assume that it means like, um, <clears throat> that like you don't like it, it makes you feel weird. Like, you? Yeah, because I like know these videos, I mean, yeah, there are some videos out there about like, there's a guy that cuts a pizza, like a uh, triangle in the middle mm -hmm. of like the whole pizza. Mm -hmm. and I know that is it. That's a thing that says "turn up to cringe." Okay, so when you sent my vlog to all of your friends, what did your friend Joseph say back? Oh, he said that's so cringy. So Joseph is not allowed to come over. I'm just kidding. He can, but seriously, that is rude. All right, the other one that we talked about, he says "boy." Like B O I, not B O I. B O I. I said. I know. I said uh, not B O I. Okay. So and so, what does that mean? It it means just like, are you dumb? Like, boy, like, what did you just do? Like, what if it's a girl? Do you say boy also, or do you say well, girl? Well, that sounds weird, but um, <laughs> we like we say boy to girl like boy like, to girls sometimes but then they're just like i'm not a boy i'm a girl that sounds about right tell me about your brother why do you guys fight all the time because he causes things that make me mad and then of course i throw a shoe at him or something and then you're right around the corner and as soon as i do it uh you see it Okay, so why don't you tell me when he does something to you? Because I need an immediate response. I don't have to, because what if you're like you're in the shower or changing or something, and then he does it, and then you completely forget. Then I tell you, and you're like, it's fine, Kelly. Has that ever happened? Yes. Has <laughs> not ever happened. Okay. Well, we're going to talk to your brother in just a minute. I was trying to get Brayden to say something about his brother, but he wouldn't do it. He's been really mad at Cohen lately. Um, a few days ago, he said that he was upset with Cohen because he feels like he really loves Cohen and Cohen doesn't love him. And so that's something that we're working on um, as a family. But anyway, it's rough being a boy mom. Brayden changed his mind and he wanted to tell his side of the story. Brayden, what do you have to say? Cohen threw a shoe at me. And um, I just didn't like it and you saw it. So he got punished and got to his room. And that's pretty much it. So why have you been so mad at your brother lately? Because it hurt and... Yeah, but you were mad at him before that, right? Mm-mm. You weren't? No, oh, yes. Why? Private business. None of my business? No, private business. Okay. You can do that. Um, handstand the longest. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're recording. <laughs> Can you chew any louder? Maybe. Or maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's enough.